Good evening, folks out there in YouTube land. I'm your host, Triple Cat. You're watching the Zombie Arcade, and this is part... Uh, I guess this will be the tenth case, so the tenth part. Actually, no, this will only be the ninth part, because two of them are being combined. Of my Evelyn Noir, let's play! And without further ado, we're just going to jump straight on in there. It's about uh, one o'clock in the morning here in beautiful Sydney, Australia, so I'm hoping this case doesn't take too hugely long, as I would like to sleep at some point. However, crime doesn't sleep. Thankfully, I can turn the game off, and then, you know, it will. But presently, I won't be doing that just yet. How do you murder lipstick? It's not even alive! The name of this case doesn't make any sense. That's gonna leave a mark, that's for sure. I think that probably felt pretty bad. All right, gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. All right, cool. Flight Rose at the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Well, that would make you pretty thirsty. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table, and the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Your first case is the murder of a woman, found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. The werewolf? Get out to the scene, lads. Is that like a serial killer? Or do you, are you actually pausing that a werewolf was what killed her? I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Uh, I'm just I'm just curious. You know, I don't know where we stand on this. Been all over KGPL. It's off Temple Street. Between Belmont and Glendale. Cool, no problem. Let's roll out there, take a look around, see what we can ascertain. What we can deduce. I'd rather you took the wheel. You'd rather I took the wheel? Oh, okay, if you want, I guess. Normally I kind of force my partner to drive, but... I suppose this time, Cole Phelps must also drive the car. Yeah, I don't know why I tried to make that sound dramatic, but I did! New car? This thing's nice. Not the old car was unnice. What happened to Rose? Parker wants the chief's job. Where it is, he can't even hammer it back. But they're both clearing the decks. So where does that leave you, Galloway? Leaves me saddled with a chump like you, Phelps. I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. Oh. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. You're super mean, Galloway. What do you mean by the werewolf? The Galloway. Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the Black Dahlia. You any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leagues and we got nothing. You don't think this has anything to do with it? No, I don't. Ninety percent of murders are domestic, fellas. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife, he takes it too far. It's gonna be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk, that's a one-off. Why so many women this year? Because of the war. You should know that. The war makes people murder women? to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, ah. expected to take lip from his wife. What do you think's gonna happen? It's that simple. Eh. Like I said, most of the time it is. This Galway character sure is jaded. I like his style. I'm sure we're gonna be best buds in the end. Maybe not best buds, but I think we'll get a lot just fine. Apparently, doesn't feel like giving me directions, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go the way that seems right to me. Whoa! Did that car in front of me just disappear? What the fuck? Pretty impressive car driving. Take the next left. Will do.
All right, here we are. Crime scene is just on the dirt road, detective. Time two. Scoop for the examiner, Galloway. How about no? Some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. You're used to it, Phelps. Move it along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. Okay, cool. Well, time to do some police work, I guess. I fucking hate doing police work! Why am I even playing this game? Oh wait, that's untrue. I actually enjoy this title. Oh. She's naked. I see. She's never dressed before, I guess, uh... I guess the killer's not a fan of quotes on women. Trolls, I can understand be... that. The yes, murder, sir. not so much. Oh, part of it. Kids park here, they use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, Detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. Mm -hmm. I wanted to censor this on YouTube, although I've put Newbie up there before and it's been okay. Uh, age restricted videos and all that. I hate censorship, guys. Although it does annoy me that on that particular Duke Nukem video, most people were there for tits. The back? There are just so many better places on the internet to find nudity if that's what you're after. I don't know why you'd go to YouTube for that. Looks brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. Hmm. Is lipstick really a clue? Apparently, Phelps thought it was important. I'm guessing the hairbrush is not going to be too significant. Or is this a mirror? Hairbrush. And not important, no. Alright, what else we got? I'm actually going to take a look at the body last this time, which is the opposite of what I normally do. Looks like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. Maybe I'm just not a fan of looking at naked women. I mean, some of them are dead. Uh, okay, so this is the globe, so I guess I just have to line this up. Uh, uh, okay, no. Okay, apparently that doesn't quite want to line up correctly. Oh, okay, I can't change the bottom, so... Change everything except the base, so that's right. And then this goes here, and then this comes this way a little bit. Easy peasy. Wow, that's Lava club. Why steal a table? Lighter? That's a really, really ornate lighter. That's pretty cool. I want one of those. The Bomba Club. Well, it's a location to check out. That is a cool lighter. We got here footprints. What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. Okay. Don't see anything else Flacker did. So there's probably nothing else here. I mean, they, they likely would have found everything. It's such a small area. Unless there's something outside the uh, the ring they've set up. But probably not. I'm guessing the boys in blue probably found it all on this one. I'm not going to look around too much, so time to take a look at the body. Let's talk to the coroner first, I guess. First things first. Better speak to the report. Has the scene been secured? Patrolman Houlihan saw to it. The victim's personal effects are still where they fell. That's all you have to say? All right, let's take a look at the body. Cause of death? It could be the head injuries. She has been badly stomped. The cuts. What caused the blunt force injury Jesus. to the face? It's a nasty injury. Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. Mm. 
not even note here. Other arm. What's this? What about this wound on the finger? Something removed. A ring, most likely. I assume it was taken post mortem. You know, someone somewhere back to this scene. Yeah, probably Sparky. Probably more than one person. Okay, what does the message say? <laughs> Interesting. Fuck you. B D and then T E in the bottom there. What does that mean? Alright, it seems to be everything that I can look at here. What does the writing on the victim mean? B D. Like Dahlia? Tex? Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on a lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Can we get to the bomba? Man could die of thirst on a case like this. All right. Yeah, sure. Let's go check out the club. Are you gonna drive this time, Galway? I'd like to be dead. She was probably at the club last night if she still had the lighter. Let me find something out. Either that or she just liked that fucking lighter and carried it around everywhere, which I mean, I can see it's a pretty cool lighter. Can you drive to this one? Let's get rolling. The werewolf? For my money, a copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. You'd love that, wouldn't you? A big head to hang on your wall. The color of the decade. We've been working evidence on BD case for six months and got next. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, odd shot. What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us alone in the courts? He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? We finished, fellas. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of stooping. Or some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures, he'll rip off the M.O. and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastic. Well, the examiner of the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers, but they're terrible for police work. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder it was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows? So, Phelps, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. You can't make it something like that, you understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. I'm gonna find him. Okay. You could be right, Galloway. It's probably just another routine murder, copycat killing. I don't even know. Cole doesn't like him, but I kind of like this guy. <laughs> Waitress, can I have another spoon? All right, let's see what we can find out. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Beer everywhere. LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? All the money. Start with your name, Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights. I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Cool. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds. Blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's a hibiscus? You can't miss him. Is there anything else? You're a pretty helpful dude. Fire Thanks away, for that, Joseph. I'll stay here. I'm a little parched. Pour me three fingers of rye. <laughs> Altara. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Altara. I don't you seem to recognize you, so I'm going to assume your name. Nice. Oh. Really? All right, let's talk to the owner. He drove me up to Mohammed. Maybe he knows the victim. Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. You do you know how to pay for that? Celine? Oh, Christ. The house officer. Sure, I know. Yeah, she and I and... Me Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? Sure, she's a regular. Selena's... was a... 
lovely woman. Hmm. Suspect seen with victim. Ring stolen from victim. Knowledge of husband. Let's go with suspect seen with victim. See if you saw anything. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. Really? Tell me more. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes. At around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. Really? Nice. Awesome. That's actually really convenient. I don't know why the fuck you did that, but thanks. That's pretty cool of you. I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. Say, honey, what time should be be 8899. Where's that goddamn plate? All right. What about the husband? What do you know about him? You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. Put up with a load of shit. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. Okay. That was a hard swallow. You look kind of sus there, actually. You look a little bit nervous. You look a little bit nervous, buddy. So then you're hiding. So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stole the attitude, will ya? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up. Asked him to come pick her up, like usual. But he refused. And she picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but got no answer. Huh. Interesting. Ring stolen from victim. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Flying Did days. her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. You know, I want to believe that, but holy shit, you look suspicious. I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're going to tell me. Okay. I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Selene in those days. Yes, I always have. The old man never knew about it. Interesting. Thanks, Mr. McColl. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Selene? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. Okay, well, let's go. Do you have anything other than her house to check out? I don't think so, so that's where we're going next. Talk to the husband if he's home and see what else we can find out. And the game is telling me I should use the telephone, so I'm going to use the telephone. I'm not sure why I should use the telephone, but the game is saying I should use hey, what's the, the telephone. Hurry? My stool was just starting to warm up nicely. I don't want to know about your stool, man. That's fucking creepy. Apparently, I can't use that telephone. Refill my coffee next time. So uh, I guess uh. So uh, I guess I'll just teleport us to the next location. You can drive, Galloway. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. You find the booze helps you get through a working day. Sharp is my investigatory instincts, though. That's bullshit. A smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. Smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind of you, Phelps. No, you picked the wrong job of a health and thirst avenger. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always the politician. It's not political, it's practical. Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out foods and the clues that would have led to her killer. Yeah, well, if only you'd been there, choir boy. 
Betty Short be alive, the Jaff would have spared Pearl Harbor. Our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a proficiency in solving them. Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. Worse than I could ever have imagined. You know, I'm not sure it's a good idea to get drunk as a policeman. I'm not sure at all. I would say, however, that I'm absolutely certain that it's a fantastic idea. It's an important distinction to make. Alright, let's go use the telephone before we go in there. At least the game really wants me to use a telephone. And I'm not sure why, but it, it fucking... It's like, hey, bro, dude, you should, like, totally telephone right about now. So that's what I'm gonna do. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need a registered owner on a license plate, 2Boy8899. Ah, yes, Detective. the license plate. I'll need to contact the DMV. That makes perfect Shall sense. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. Thanks. Yes, that is a good thing to get more information about. That makes perfect sense. Okay. Let's go investigate this household now. See if the husband's home. If not, have a look around. If yes, also have a look around and then interrogate the son of a bitch. Maybe, I don't know, punch him in the dick a few times to loosen his tongue. Don't need this. I know to loosen my tongue. I'll try the back door. Wait here. Sir. <laughs> you always want to try the back door, Galloway. That's interesting. Somebody's broken in. Hey guys, what's up? Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. Do the creep. Ah. All right, definitely have to look around then. Let's see what we can find. Hmm, looks like somebody ate dinner here. Proof that the crime was committed from this location. The crime of imbibing food. Highly illegal. Huh. What is the purpose of the goggles? Optimistic, Cole. No, seriously, what is the purpose of the goggles? Apparently not relevant to the case. Anything on the table important? Doesn't look like it. Dirty dishes by the couch. I guess he likes to eat in the living room. I can respect that. No. Yeah, empty bottles all over the place. Guess he's a bit of a drinker, or when we know the wife is. But it sounds like she mostly goes to the bar to get her fix. What uh, what tunes you guys been listening to? Oh, apparently I'm just gonna look at the newspaper instead. All right, that works. You said I had to go back, doctor. The fires are cathartic. They allow you to confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Are you taking the medication I have prescribed? You said the house would be empty. I heard them screaming. Circumstances were unfortunate. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. You're killing me! The deaths were unfortunate. But you have dealt with death before. You said the house would be empty! How can I find peace? I think that guy might not be a very good doctor. He seems to advise his patients to commit arson when not dump dubbing them up with morphine. But again, I guess I'm not a doctor, so who am I to criticize? I mean, maybe he's the greatest doctor known to man, and I simply am not yet capable of comprehending the levels of his genius, which are in fact actually quite high. Oh, we got a shoe here. This is suspicious as fuck. If I've ever seen a criminal shoe... Oh, this actually is important, really? Okay. Size nines. A 
above average for a lady. You, to be honest, I don't even know what an average lady shoe size is. I guess I haven't bought in very many ladies' shoes. Probably something to do with my perpetual lack of a girlfriend. Although, to be honest, it's actually not that perpetual. It's been perpetuating itself for a while now. Alright, I need to do this fridge. If you sober up, you can find me at apartment 2. So Lee and Jacob are obviously having problems. It speaks to motive. 1050 Huntley Crime Drive. Crime evidence still weighs against it being the husband. But Jacob could give us something to go on. One of my exes drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Don't take all day about it, Phelps. I'll get nasty when I'm thirsty. Talking to the neighbors? I guess that could work. Find out what the, uh, what the ruckus was. But I think there might be more here that I haven't found Galloway, yet. homicide, badge number 564. Forced entry. That was important to look at. Services for suspected 459 at 142 North Union. The burglar used the pry bar. Cool, Sparky. Why did you put the door in? You think I'm going to climb through a broken window in a $30 suit? You got another thing coming, Buster. <laughs> a $30 suit. You know, if only suits don't only cost $30. And that was, you know, an expensive suit, even. I would have so many fucking suits. I would probably not wear anything but suits. I would be the picture of a classy dude. As is, I possess one suit. There's a lot more than $30. I mean, it's it's a decent suit, but it's not particularly nice. I don't have anything against it. Anyway, let's get talk to the neighbors. I think uh, I think I found everything important that I was gonna find in the house. It's not like there's anything in the backyard. Okay. Let's have a chat, Miss Lady Friend, you person, go. Let's have a talk chat. LAPD, are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss? Horgan! Jennifer Horgan. I've known Celine for more than 10 years. Our children grew up together. Whoa. W what's going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but Celine had been drinking. And she and poor, long suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. He stormed out and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh, my God. I'm afraid I need to go and, and sit down. Hello, ECG Crafty. I'm just going to call you Crafty instead of letters. Welcome to the stream. Alright, let's see here. That's one name I've spoken to. I wonder if the person on the other side has anything to contribute. Or uh, I could just head on over to Henry's... Jacob's, rather. Jacob... Jacob's? The husband, yeah, Jacob. His apartment. Let's see if this other neighbor has anything to say for themselves, such as, I don't know, I heard noises and shit! Not at home? Not at home. Alright. That's fine, we'll go over to Jacob Henry's apartment and see what we can find out. Speak to the husband. I don't really remember ever getting stuck in this game on my first playthrough, Sparky. Although it's, I'm, I'm glad to see it's been long enough that I really well, don't remember the solutions to most of these cases, which is good because if I remembered everything, it'd be pretty boring. But uh, for the most part, I did not. Let's see what Jacob has to say for himself. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. Well, with having all the assists off, you know, the investigation music fading down, we found everything, I've got that off, and the hints to what you know when you hear a clue, I've got that off, um, is all helpful. And the area is crossed off for me, so I guess I found, 
least I found everything here. There was earlier as well. Jacob Henry had a violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Uh, with my money, the broad keeps the house looking like that, so he probably deserves it. The skipper says bring him in and keep the hacks off our backs for a while. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. Good to see you've come to your senses, Cole. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. I love driving poorly. I'm not a drunk driver, I'm a cop. My partner is the drunk, but he's not driving right now. Officer down. Six down. I don't give a fuck. I think on this playthrough, actually, I might just avoid doing the street crimes and uh, stick to the main cases because otherwise, some of these videos are gonna get really, really long. And I mean, honestly, some of the street crimes are pretty interesting, but for the most part, not really. Hey, come on! I really shouldn't be driving. I've had a fair few beers tonight myself. Cole isn't drunk though. I'm just gonna cut across this uh, nature here. I'm just shit. Pro policeman, I'm driving like a boss. Mac, you're gonna kill us! I'm not gonna kill us. Calm down, damn. Okay, Phelps, we're going hard. Follow my lead. Going hard? Why are we going in hard? I mean, I know we agreed to bring him in, but I, we don't have any reason to think he's gonna be fighting us or anything like that. I guess. Whatever. You, you want to do this? Let's yeah. do it. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatic. Oh my for god! RKO, pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You come in here, you tell me that Celine is. Take a seat, Mr. Henry. That she's... We're gonna have a look around, I... then we'll talk. Jesus. I'm sorry. I... He does seem genuinely shocked to receive the news, but it could just be an act. Yeah, here. I get even the slightest hint that you're a flight. The alcoholism illness. We already knew Probably not. she was an alcoholic. The apartment absolutely confirms. Uh, let's see. Screwdriver. Whatever. Ashtray. You think the atmosphere is thick in here? Wait till you try the gas chamber. What if I can get through his trash? You're never allowed to rummage through their trash in this game. I'm pretty sure that's one of the first things the real cops do, is rummage through people's trash. Maybe not one of the first, but certainly something they do. He'll be back in... Uh, let's see what was written on the piece of paper above this. Perhaps it will be of excitement to us. I love excitement. Thanks for the offer. I need you to do something about my wife. The oldest problem there is, what to do about the old lady. Mm, suitcase, big shoes. Wonder if they'll match the footprints found at the crime scene. Size 11s. Have to uh, ask the coroner about that, maybe? Or call dispatch. Should be able to find out now what the uh, results were there. Anything else here? The baseball bat could have caused the blunt trauma to the head. Everything here is going to be ruined. But Cole doesn't think so. No blood on it or anything immediately incriminating. A hat. It's not important. No, I already looked at the shoes. I wanted to look in the other suitcase, but apparently that is not permitted. Hmm. Fud. I don't. I don't seem like there's anything else in here. It's a pretty small apartment. 
think I'm missing anything important unless arbitrarily like these ashtrays or something over here. Maybe the screwdriver. I don't think any of this stuff is gonna be important though. Doesn't tell me anything. No. Can I look in the drawer of the desk? No. Alright, what's up, Chad? I think I think I'm good with this. Um last contact with the victim. Let's start there. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. And that's all there is to it. The neighbor, though, reported that you had a fight and that you might have hit her. Do I have, like, the neighbor's testimony as evidence? Because if yes, testifies to victim sporting a black eye after a fight with husband. Let's go with lie and present that as the evidence against him. That's a lie and you know it. You tailed her, watched her come out of a bar, and then beat her to death. Whoa. Admit it, Henry. Cole, slow down. Why would I do that, detective? Well, no, this could still work out. Maybe that was the right thing to do. Let's go with marital problems. My wife was a drunk. It was a sickness with her. Doesn't mean I didn't love her. Would you stop loving your wife if she was unwell? Absolutely. No, I wouldn't. Apparently that was wrong. Okay. Um, movements of victim. So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. But I mean, you obviously knew she was a regular at. I mean, I can't prove it, but he obviously knew she was a regular at Bomba Club. Let's go with the doubt. impression that Celine liked to live the glamorous life. How did she end up with a hump like you, Jacob? Celine was one of the first woman pilots. She hung out with movie stars and royalty. When she came back here broke and struggling, she married a mechanic, put a roof over her head, food on the table. Not glamorous, the best I could do. I'm not ashamed about that. Very cool, although apparently that was also wrong, I can buy that too. Do you have an alibi, Jacob? So you can prove that you came back here after you left your wife. Hey, Lip, place. nice to see you again. Five hundred and fifty-five followers I came is back a good here. number. I was here all night. No doubt about that. Start work at six thirty. Seventy-fives. Not the going out type. What did he just say? I wasn't paying attention. I came back here. I was here all night. I left work at six thirty. I start work at six thirty. I'm not the going out type. Can you prove that you came back here? The barman tried. The barman called him, but that was late at 11:30, and he wasn't here. Yeah, that's interesting. Reports telephoning Jacob Henry repeatedly on night of murder, but he didn't answer the phone the second time. So he's full of shit. He wasn't you here. The bar to give yourself an alibi. Then you went after her, beat her, dumped her in a park. I think you are a sack of shit, Jacob. You're not gonna pin Celine's death on me. I'll take a lie detector test to prove it. No, you won't, because we are aware that those things are not exactly reliable. But, uh, let's go with this. McCall says he called and called and you didn't pick up. I tried to get her help and she laughed in my face. Well then, of course, she needs me. I'd had enough. Everyone has their limit. So, you're saying you killed her then? That was a confession, right? Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never... gave up on my wife. But you just said you son of a... Okay, um... Call why and then go the death threat note? Let's do that. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone. Yeah, I got him. I got him. 
You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? I huh? sure do! I love backing that up with something. Death threat note. Bam! The note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. You want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. We're still gonna need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife, and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? She was a loss of the tramp, and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth! <laughs> so now you're gonna tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. Whoa! That was not a smart move, buddy. Picking a fight with the police is not going to look good for you. Oh! Snap! And my hat teleported back onto my head. In and get a that is how much of a badass dispatch. I am. And check for messages. I'll keep old Slugger here company. Alright, call it in. Let's do it. Why can't this be more like Days X when you just punch people in the face? That would be great. It's true. Fantastic. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, Detective? I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. Hmm. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Fuck yeah. Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt? No, the blows to the head surprisingly were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one-eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doctor. Operator, give me R and I. Hmm. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was two boy eight eight nine nine. Yes, detective. The plate belongs to a brown nineteen thirty six Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of four oh two South Fremont Street, apartment sixteen. Thanks. So Any she, other message? She left the bar with Mendez. One detective. From Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. But I need to uh, I need to go pick up Alonzo Mendez first because he could also easily be the murderer. I mean, she was seen leaving the bar with him in his car anyway. Could be a better a better pick than the husband. Oh, we got our next destination anyway. You know, if we could find the murder weapon, that would be absolutely beautiful. That would be that would be fantastically good, in fact, because we still haven't found that. You know the way. You it wasn't drive. at the scene, which means I don't know. Maybe Alonzo has it. Carruthers said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're gonna get. All right, Mendez, what's Chad? And by Chad, I mean I'm totally going to arrest you, and I can see already you're in apartment 13. Thank. Coincidence? Probably. Also, his totes wrong, he's in 16. Hey, look apartment about. 16. I derped pretty hard there. Alright, apartment 16. We're gonna be up a few floors. In fact, it's on the fourth floor. Alright. Derp a derp 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 Second. Now, if only I could count all the way to four, I'd be absolutely fine. Okay, so second floor. Alright, third floor. Okay. 70 12th floor. 
Where the fuck is the fourth floor? I don't. Let me go here. Okay. Don't bother knocking. Just kick the door in. Fuck yeah, that's how I love to work. Take a look around and see what you can find. Oh, looks like he's not here. I if there's anything in his coat jackets. Nope. Okay, I wonder if there's a newspaper that I can look at, but it's not the kind of newspaper that brings me into alternate universes, sadly. Let's see what we can find. A key. I wonder what his nice collection of, of liquors, but Phelps is like a key. I guess I guess he's really not the dragon type. Okay. Nothing looks out of the ordinary so far. Kitchen. Ice box, no. What we got here? What is this filthy shit? Eggs! You son of a bitch! I knew it was you all along, and this just proves it. Only a madman would have eggs sitting on the counter. Got here. Matchbook from Kevin does. Not relevant here. Not the kind of door that opens, and what's in this room? A gun? Well, that wasn't used in the murder, but... Not much help. Interestingly, you just got kind of chilling there. Oh, wow, that's not a fucking suspect at all. Yeah, here. Socket wrench. This was the, this was the weapon. Consistent with Celine's injuries, and the blood can be typed. There's the we weapon. The murder weapon. You better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? Think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break. Captain Donald will begin to like you. Hey! What gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. Yeah, I think it might have been this guy. Son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheels. Get back here, you now bastard! Stop right there! <laughs> I must detective you really hard in the face! Also, I love to know it's more than the stream. I don't know, looking for evidence as a detective. Fucking absurd. You don't need to do this, Alonzo! Yeah, Alonzo! You seem like a cool enough dude. I'm sure we can work something out, bros of dude guy. Maybe go to a strip club, be bros and stuff. Just uh come back so I can arrest you. I've been alright, Kenoji. Just chilling, killing, feeling no remorse. Oh shit, he's getting in a car. Why do I have to drink? Uh, you know what, whatever, fine, you've been drinking anyway. Then again, so have I. IRLs, but Cole hasn't. Get back here, you son of a bitch! Hit it! Clean this asshole off the road! Oh, you done run that dude the fuck over. Alonzo, and you didn't even care. I got an idea. Get him next to my window, Cole. Keep me alongside his vehicle, and I'll stop this son of a bitch. Roger that. Let's do this. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. Keep it steady, and I'll try to bust his tires. I think he got one. Oh, shit. I don't think we're going to be able to bring him into custody. He's fucking dead after rolling like that in one of these Run old cars. The murder of Celine Henry. Apparently he's okay, folks. Somehow. I'm really annoyed. I wanted to see his shoe size. One of his shoes was in the apartment next to his bed, but I didn't get to look at it. His airbag didn't deploy. Send that bed area 51. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. We're back at the apartment now. You did a now. grand Good. job, lads. Phelps, that's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. Considering the evidence against your suspect, 
and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demand it. <laughs> Cole wanted the drink that time, but was not given one. That's just rude. He was the one who fucking stomped that case and everything, but then he wasn't allowed to have booze. Booze on the Well, he said that case done. Yeah, he really wanted that drink too, to, too, Tanoji. You can tell by the look on his face. One of the things, I mean, the, the facial technology of this game is fucking amazing. It's great. The performances so good and so well transferred to the digital medium. Okay, that's going to be the end of this video, folks who are watching this on YouTube, although you won't be seeing this on YouTube for a while yet. You've got a lot of videos to go before then. But uh, thanks for watching, everyone on YouTube, and Trouble T Cat, out.